Hello everyone, my name is Larseth, and welcome back to European Universalis 4, and episode 36 of our Poland campaign, in which, case, in which we will be going for Poland can into space, as well as winged hussars, and one we have already gotten, which is one king to rule, and we also got a center of, I think it's center of attention, or something like that, it is basically, let's check what it is, center of, center of attention, where you get multiple um, where you get multiple centers of reformation in your country. That's what I meant to say. Let's fabricate a claim. Spiss. So we're going to spend this episode building up our ideas and uh, stuff like that. We'll get France as a rival. Why not? When did our, when does our truce end with the Ottomans? 41, so six years. We could theoretically go to war with them again, which we might actually do. Bohemian Separatists. Yeah, that's fine. We're trying to get these revolts to trigger just so we can then um, suppress them, basically. And won't have a rebel problem, at least for, you know, a very, very long time. Oh, one more month and our war exhaustion go back down to zero. And then we can start. There we go. That's what we want. Smush. Say goodbye. Now we just gotta wait for the Pomeranian Separatists. They'll probably be the next, I'm imagining. Or the Brandenburgian Separatists. Either one doesn't really matter. Uh, aggressive in expansion impact, minus 20%. That'll do us a lot of good. We like that. Augsburg has entered into a military coalition against Hungary. Oh, lots of people have. What did Hungary take? Oh, okay. So they beat the Ottomans in a war. Have they? No. Oh, God. Hungary took all of Venice. Wow. That's not good. Oh, we can't threaten war and make them give us provinces. <clears throat> yeah, next will definitely be another war with the Ottomans. Um, I want to release Byzantium eventually and possibly get them as another... What do you call it? Why didn't I make these, start these off? I don't know. Uh, yeah, get Byzantium, start them off as... Um, a vassal and then make them a march, probably. Um, complain that an increasing number of serfs are deserting safe homes provided to them to seek their fortune among the Cossacks of the steppe. They feel we are to blame as we have allowed the Cossacks... To grow too powerful, which is inspiring the serfs to abandon their rightful masters. Yada yada yada. I don't really want the Cossacks to get any more influence, so I'm going to have to reduce that. Um, but, I mean, we've still got plenty of cavalry combat ability. That's not an issue. Bryansk. And now just the reformed ones left to convert. Come on. Oh, missionary. That's why. No, 
Now we'll do prog last. I want to make it core first. Come on. 62. There we go. Zoom in a bit. Stop it lagging so much. Um, yep, sure. We can get the next military tech. Saxon infantry in Starfort. Let's see what we can do with our um, money. See what buildings we can invest in. So if I recall... Ah, there we go. Mamel. Ooh, Memel. 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 And where else do we want? Training fields, probably. There we go. Crack out. Where else? To, what, what else do we want, I guess? Um, what about production? Anywhere else we can upgrade production? Eh, it's probably worthwhile doing it there. Let's just do production across the board. We might as well make... Give everywhere basic... I mean, we're making so much money at this point, it's fine. Well, I mean, not at this point, we're not. When I reduce uh, maintenance down to zero, though, it'll, uh, it will. Reputation reach further than our borders and diplo power. Yes, I want the prestige because then I can go and upgrade my government rank. Woo. Gain... Yay. Empire, I now cultural union of West Slavic culture. Fabulous. Does that mean that any more have been accepted or not? Um, where am I looking? There we go. Ruthenian, Prussian, Lithuanian, Belarusian. Okay, so Czech, Polish, and Silesian are the other ones. West Slavic. Meh. Disputed succession. Following countries lack heirs. So now that we are an absolutist monarchy, I suppose technically, I mean, it's not going to happen with England, I imagine. Let's improve relations. Technically, we could start going on the hunt for personal unions. Uh, let's reduce... Uh, let's go back to improving relations with Austria. I know it's uh, already at 200, but I always like keeping the improved relations thing maxed out. Come on, Pomeranian Separatists. You know you want to. How long does it s suggest it might take? In z under a year. Okay, now the... Damn it. There we go. Fabulous. And now... But that's out of the way. I mean, the Brandenburgian Separatists aren't going to you know, go for a long time. So I'm going to wait until my armies replenish. Get them back to 100. One more tick. Really? Two? Two more men. There we go. And let's reduce our army maintenance all the way down now. And we can uh, focus on making some money. Demand unlawful territory from... No. Just shush. What do you know? Nothing. That's what you know. There we go. Diplo rep. It's always good. Protect against France. 124. 
technically I do have them. I could easily get a much larger uh, thing than France. But I don't really want to at the moment. I think our next idea will probably be um, quantity. Purely because I want to avoid... Well, I, I want the ideas which reduce your army maintenance. Because at the moment, if you see, that's our... Um, essentially a, a massive percentage of our expenditure you know other than advisors diplo rep love diplo rep it's got plus six that's pretty good so what are the chat they got no legal heir age 60 so i'm going to i mean the worst thing is it's not the end of the world who else have they got? It's Austria, Iroquois, and Chirua. So, if they... A regency... Are they in a regency? And how old she? Eight. So if he dies... Succession war between Austria and France. Do I want to get involved in that? So it'd be Austria, France... And then if I joined in, it would be, you know, me in there as well. Hmm. Well, I assume it would be a succession war between me and France because we had the highest, um, highest, what's it called? Hmm. Let's have a think. Why not? We'll try. And... Now that we've got Prague... We... Don't necessarily need Riga... But why don't they like us enough? Let's have a look. So it's because... We don't have a... Okay, I see. Right, so we'll go... Well, okay, no matter how much we give, it's 25. So it's still only 62. And we need 90 to get them to... Because when, now that we've once we've got Prague, and we've westernized, we won't need them. We won't need Riga for Western arms trade anymore, so we can cancel our alliance with them. But for the moment, until until that happens, which is it's going to be quite a few years. It'll probably be ten, well, a good few years either way. Um, I'm going to go for stability, please. I'm going to keep doing this with England. So who would it break out between? It would break out between... Oh, <laughs> it just got an air. Oh, whatever. Whatever, England. Go away. I suppose he, they are allied with them. Um, no, actually, what I'll do is I will improve relations with them, with England. Who were they rivaled with? Sweden, France, and Ayatollah. Um, I'll keep them sweet, but I probably won't keep them as an ally, just because I don't want to piss off Sweden. Oh, that was annoying. I was looking at it going, oh, what could, uh, what could go, who's it going to go to? And then, damn it, it's me. It'll go to me. And look, typically, he just died. Just. He got a kid and then died. Oh, my God's sake. What are the chances of that? Oh, well. All right, so Croatia broke free. 
Let's fabricate a claim. After we've uh, padded ourselves with a bit of money, I think what we'll do is we will go to war with Hungary. can we upgrade we've got a lot of forts we got to upgrade I think first we'll well no we're gonna save a bit of money first oh such a pain in the ass that is can't believe that How long till our truce is over? 41. So only a few years. And then we can go back to... Um, go back to disliking the Ottomans and kicking them about a bit. I'm going to keep my relationship with England. Just because I'm... I don't know. It, it would be, there's, there's no reason not to. Um, I mean, I could use them as my other alliance, but because they've allied with Sweden, they, they've rivaled with Sweden, that probably isn't a good idea. So it'll have to be someone else. Um, question is, whom? Portugal seems like an, an, okay, an okay bet. They're allied with France and Spain. What about who are Austria allied with? So they're allied with England, Commonwealth, and Spain. That's that's not ideal. I guess we might release somebody down here and then get them as an ally. Maybe that's a good thing to do. So why on why don't Sweden particularly like us? Heretic religion, that's the only reason. Okay. Right. What to do next? I think we're just going to wait one more year and then go to war with the Ottomans. Assuming we actually have a reason to do so. Oh, wow. Moldavia really do have... Um, they've been churning out a load of cores. A load of cores. But I think we're going to go to war with Hungary first. So I'm going to start moving my troops into place. Uh, how many is you? 37. Move those troops into place. Uh, I'm going to break my royal ties with England because I don't think it's worth having the... Uh, taking up the Diplo slot. I mean... <sighs> Essentially, all that was about was a, a, a quick stab to see if I could get a personal union over them. I couldn't, so I just have to deal with that, really. Um, I probably want to go for Diplo focus at the moment. So I could get these ideas out of the way. Let's... Where are all of our... Diplomats. God, Venice broke free with a vengeance. Right, let's... Declare war on Hungary. Well, first of all, let's put our army maintenance all the way back up. Yeah, I think we're definitely going to go for uh, quantity ideas next. Um... Because the lack of, or the, the the vast amount of 
land maintenance modifiers hurting us a bit. Diploration relations plus one, envoy travel times, that is fine. So now what we need to do is look for an, an ally. And we will do that in the next episode. We'll go to war with Hungary. See, we'll, we'll give some Moldavia some stuff. And take some stuff for ourselves. And then we'll go to war with the Ottomans. And see who can we, we can release. Because we'll, we'll hopefully try and release um, somebody like... Well, that won't happen because we're a truce. But uh, we'll hopefully release Byzantium. Get them as an ally and build their trust by feeding them back cores. Um, so we'll see. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care.